breakfast is over and we well and we have sunscreened me for the billionth time I can you imagine if I made you watch every time I got sunscreened we like that's all this channel would be it'd be a very different type of channel um, yeah sunscreening cat sunscreen the not finish channel the not It'd be a very different type of channel. Um, but anyway, we are, uh, I'm trying to power through a day, well, no, a few days of not feeling great. I will tell you, in the TMI department, I have neon urine right now. It's just, seriously, it's like a crime scene every time I pee. And this is uh, due to, I think, the antibiotics that I might need to be on. Well, I know I need to be on antibiotics, but like we randomly went to a pharmacy here and grabbed some that might work. Like, we're, well, I know they're for it, but we just Googled stuff. We didn't like actually talk to a doctor, is all I'm saying. This is what the pharmacist recommended. The pharmacist recommended something, and we don't know if I'm on the right dosage, and we hope. All I can tell you is that it's a crime scene every time I pee, and so I worry about leaving, but it's my husband's birthday, so we're gonna do things. Yes, I don't make you watch. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this. <laughs> no, I'm not cutting this. This is the kind of thing you are gonna have to watch if you watch our channel. I mean, not watch, but know about. Because not everything is perfect. Not everything, you know when I said nya 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 nya? This is not one of those times. Not everything is a nya 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 moment, okay? All right. This is not one of them, but we're going to do things anyway. We forge ahead on my husband's birthday. This is the day of the Chris. What shall we do? We shall try, and this is what we, we sh will show you. If you don't for plan ahead, can you get a scooter on Cozumel last minute? We'll show you. Thompson Simpson, if I wasn't Jamaican, why would I wear this hat? I wear it because my skin is very pale. That's that, like, not where I wear this hat. I wear this hat because I'm Jamaican, Samson Simpson. Samson Simpson. I'm sorry, Mr. Simpson. I, I'm not really Jamaican. I, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> That's a dope ass entrance. It looks like it's made of like mostly found materials. Yeah. That's awesome. You know when you order in a foreign country and you're just not sure if what you ordered is going to be what you wanted? It's not. It doesn't look like what I specifically wanted, but it tastes exactly like what I didn't know I wanted. It's beautiful. And then this banana bread is huge. I've been given a banana loaf, which I'm just appreciative of, but I don't know how much I'll be able to eat of it, but I'm excited. Banana bread. Mm, mm, mm. Wait, if it ain't the coffee I was looking for this morning, I made myself some coffee. That coffee didn't work out. Okay, so I had to make myself a good old coffee shop. Look at here, I got myself a good coffee. Yep. This is great. And my wife likes the bread. I can't eat the bread. First scooter place. We did not have the quad we're trying to get because of Christopher's toe. We're not, we're not sure anywhere will, but uh, we're gonna try a few others. See if we can get a scooter. Guys yeah, if hard. not, we'll get a scooter. Guys trying hard, but we're gonna check out other places. Yep. 
so due to the price and Chris just didn't want to pay more we're getting a scooter but it was super easy the answer is yes don't make a reservation just find a person and twenty dollars super easy super quick we're getting a scooter hope Chris's toe is fine I guess this could be what not to do but hopefully hopefully everything will be okay there's our scooter Here's our helmets being put on correctly. Apparently, I don't know how to put on my own helmet. Here's this, this, this. Can you pull it tight here? Grab this and pull this down. Happy birthday! Mm. Woo! Mm. Mucho gracias. Feliz cumpleaños, amigo. Nah. Gracias. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore While you're on the open sea Cannot take this anymore There are a lot of voices Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid
final tip. Um, lots of the beaches are in front of restaurants. So you can go to a, well, it's like a beach shack kind of, where you get drinks and food and what have you. And then you put your stuff down and it has a table to be at so it doesn't get stolen. And because I know you're not going to need to tip well if all your shit gets stolen. And then you go out there and snorkel as we just did. And there were so many beautiful fish, just like I remember the last time. I don't know that this is true, but uh, doing this as opposed to being at a hotel and making use of their beach feels better also. No, exactly. I think this is the perfect way to do it. This is, if you look around, this is, this is Playa de Le Heaven. This is what I want. If I had one of these little spots, just like this, come on. Shack up in the, yeah. in the hills. Everything that happens around here, we're like, how can we make this our business? We are clearly like trying to make business out of heaven. I mean, doesn't everybody want to? Tiempo. Snorkel. Is there tiempo para snorkel? Para snorkel. Soy un baracho este hoy. Pero es mi cumpleaños. Es mi mal español, lo siento. Lo siento para mis, uh, lo siento por mis uh, amigos latinos, por mi español. Pero vámonos a la cena. So there I was uh, snorkeling along, seeing the most beautiful of fish. And um, there was this guy, kid, really. How are you doing? Does that hurt some? Oh, yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. I'm still in the red. Can you hear uh, my story? I hear your story. So there's this kid, and he had one of those, like, uh, fish shooters. Yeah, one of those. And he shot a little fish. Un poquito. Like, I feel like if you were going to shoot a fish, it's got to be big enough to eat. And if not, it just is one of those pretty fish I was looking at. And he's dead now. And it was flopping afterwards, and he was so excited. And I am not so excited. 
Now, maybe he's being trained to be a big fish shooter, but I feel unimpressed and it, it made my day just, okay, it's a great effing day, but, but I feel unimpressed. What, what do I feel? I can't think of the word. Sad for the fish. I feel sad for the fish. Also, my husband just kicked his toe that is broken. I feel sad for... Awesome. He's dancing it off, which is good. Yeah. But I feel sad with Chris. Oh, it's numb again. That's all it's he fun. asked for. It's a numb toe. So we just found out that I've been slowly poisoning my wife on vacation. Um, I've been doing this all wrong. I did not take out an insurance policy at all. <laughs> I just started poisoning her uh, by doubling the amount of medication she should have been taking with this, thinking that it was 500 milligrams total and 50 milligrams per pill because it says 500 slash 50. That's, that's, I was taking four. She was... You're supposed to be taking one. One every eight hours. She's been taking two. Four. Four? And four. First two and then four. She's gonna rid herself. My whole life, antibiotic, like anti meat. And she's gonna die. No, she's gonna rid her, her stomach biome with good stuff, and she's just gonna have a stomach ache for a long time. Uh, but she could also affect her kidneys if she does that too much. So we're gonna stop her from doing that. Yeah. Ask somebody so you don't poison your wife, or get the insurance policy. I mean, come on. So we just enjoyed most of my birthday here at the Monkey Beach. Oh, there it is. It's a dope spot. You can see it down there. Um, we chased puffer fish. We had uh, a lot of uh, snorkeling. Yes. Uh, despite my worries, my broken toe did not cause me much grief inside of my big ass flippers. Instead, they were rubbing on my ankles because they're designed to have booties inside of them because we bought them in Monterey where they didn't know you could dive without a wetsuit. But that's all right. I'm gonna sell those things and get some duck feet like Cat. Cat's duck feet came in handy. I like my duck feet. They were, uh, I didn't need to go far or fast, so they were perfect for just kind of staying where I wanted to be. Yeah. All right, man, I got, I got big ass flippers anyway. So like you, you add some fins to them, I, it's perfect, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll see. now thinking it's getting late and got to find our way back home. We have no idea where we've been. Can't imagine where, where we're going. Been. Where we're going. That's okay. 
okay. It, it sounds like us. We're having fun though. So yeah. that's been cool. Alright, let me check this map. Give me 7 Eleven is down. 7 Eleven. Happy birthday to me. Because why get something you've already gotten in your own home country? I got something called Pina Fiel. Pina Fiel. I've been seeing the commercials for this. Pina Fiel. Uh, and it is potentially grapefruit because that's what the picture looks like. So, can you open and take the lid off? Yep, tastes good. I like it. I vote yes. Mine's super piña. We got ajritos and it's piña. Piña few. Yours is my own. Mine is my own. Because I went outside of my traditional choices. Who wants in my life? Mwah. They found a friend. Hey, what's more? He's adopted a Mexican cat. We saw this little girl out there telling us that this cat was her, not this cat, but some cat that she saw outside was her cat. Hi, Kiwi. Want some leftover breakfast? And I understand, because this cat is now from our cat. Mm, yeah. Yes, leftover breakfast. I like leftover breakfast. It's good, because I wasn't going to eat leftover breakfast. She just knew she wanted, like, she came in like she this was her home. Mm-hmm. So, this is her home now. This place comes with an animal! Yay! Mas animales. Mas animales. So I give the uh, kitty a bowl of milk. This is a tall skinny cat. And the tall skinny cats deserve a bowl of milk. But after you're done, kitty, I'm gonna invite you to join me outside by the plunge pool. Oh, yeah. All right, now uh, we're back and we got everything charging, including Kitty. Uh, put the uh, GoPro batteries on the charge, vapes on the charge. We gotta put the phone on the charge. But we decided we're gonna go visit our friend Migo, who invited us over the first day we got here. Um, but his door was closed later on, so we didn't know if we should go in there. So we're going to go give it a try now. Yeah. Migo seems to be running a restaurant out of his house, yeah. um, which is the way a few places here run their thing. And it looks very nice. Uh, we saw it just kind of peeking as we went by. And it seems like uh, one like more authentic experience. And we want to help support him. Honestly, he... I thought he worked for this Airbnb because he like helped carry my bags over here just because he saw me like struggling and in the middle of the street. So yeah, yeah I want to support him because he was just like randomly a good guy. Yeah, randomly helpful. I like it. I think you need a sign, man. Yeah. What's that? Get some number. I'm making a, I mean, are you going to start to work to make some money? Buy the permit. Oh, mm, nice. Yeah. Put yeah. sign because I don't got a permit. Right, right. I do like private, private VIP. Yes, exactly. So is the um, the permits uh, pretty expensive here? Wow. Or five thousand dollars? Is it oh, limited? Wow. Five thousand US? Yes. Oh wow. We're here at Migos place. This is a a, a private birthday event with our neighbor. Yes. We're I love this place so far, yeah. and we're about to have some cool burgers, late night grub. Yeah. After tooling around the island everywhere, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm definitely stoked about it. Not only that, but uh, I'm gonna get a toast, a shot of tequila while yeah. Cat toasts me with water. Maybe you should get some Sprite. This okay. making not bad luck. Um, listen, I'm trying to flush out being poisoned. Yeah. So. I poisoned her, as we covered earlier. Yeah. yeah so it's all right. I'm trying to live here? Life insurance, man. Just life no. insurance first. Next time. Next time. So we're teaching you what to do in the future. Yeah, we, we're the Amelia Bedelia of travel, as we've said it many a times. If you're going to kill your wife on a trip, make sure to take the life insurance policy out first. Just, 
No one will suspect. We are showing you what not to do <laughs> so that you can do it. No one will suspect. Listen, no one's going to suspect you of ODing her on antibiotics. On UTI drugs. You're like, like I don't know like she had a UTI, yeah, man. She, All yeah, I knew yeah, was yeah. that she was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like, a, I have, antibiotics are to make her better, right? She's like, I have a, U, I have TMI, and you're like, oh, TMI. TMI, take these. <laughs> no, I think, I think it says take the whole box. It says uh, take ten at a time. And I'm like, what could go wrong? Baby, I don't think, I don't think that's what. Are you what's, sure? To say are you sure? Should take five hundred. Really, I should oh, take four. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Bonito, man. Yeah. Perfecto. Ooh, it's a big shot. A little for the birthday card. Yes. Yes. Oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Happy cheers. birthday, baby. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. And una. Antes de que se caliente el vaso. Sí, sí. No. It's uh, it's wrapped We've been in a box. served our dinner. And it's wonderful. I've already started eating fries. I couldn't wait for the fact that my phone was updating. Mine didn't come with a bun. It came with everything else, and it's perfect. Uh, no, I necesito un tenedor. Amigo. Yes, how's everything? Perfecto. ¿Tienes un uh, enterador? Oh, sí. His official review. If we have to leave one, which we do. That's his lecker. Wrong language, but official review. So again, we've been eating here at uh, my amigo Migo's place, uh -huh. and uh, this. So if you are ever in Cozumel, you need to make sure that you order from this guy. What is your What is your number? What's your phone number? My phone number. Yeah. Uh, mas. Mas información. Nine eight seven. One one two, fifty six fifty three. We'll put that at the bottom of the screen. You guys need to stop by here. You guys need to support Migo. This place is fan freaking tastic. I just had my my perfect uh, birthday my dinner. birthday dinner. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> and and mas tequila. <laughs> mas tequila. Mucho tequila. It's perfecta. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys, you'll love it here. It's very affordable. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, Migo. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Wait for you here anytime yeah. you want. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. Come visit. Looks like there's some sort of a uh, statue across the street. Let's go read the plaque. It's the middle of the night. We're watching out for cars, drunken scooters. So we can get to the plaque. It's a white boy running, running. Rafa. Who is it? Ex-Mans Club Anador del Territorio. Quintana Roo. In 1935 to 1940. Yeah. So this guy had a good five years, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Some great five years, dude. So uh, we're here again, walking through the, uh, the main strip here. It's like uh, everything's closed at this point in time. It's late, it's July 11th, it's my birthday. Uh, todos son tranquilo. You know what I mean? Steps to the ocean everywhere. Yeah, there's like a step leading off to... This is all a parkland right here, so it's protected. During the day, you probably could. I bet there might be some good views underneath these little piers that have been here forever and protected forever. All I'm saying is that uh, I could use a year just diving around Cosmo. It, tur it turns out one of the people that are, live at the Airbnb where we're staying right now 
He's a dive instructor. Live near it, right upstairs. So I mean, yeah, well, she shouldn't live in the same place we're at, but, like upstairs, in another apartment. And uh, it was her cat. Yeah, that cat that we had earlier, that was her cat. His name is Leo, and uh, well, she's like just. to be anyone's cat. <laughs> she's just like, just tell him to go away. I'm like, nope. <laughs> we <laughs> brought him in. We gave him some food and such. Um, but yeah. It was a cool cat. We're gonna see what's left for the night. Other than people being arrested by police. Hopefully not us. It's just so right.